Ah, uh, I gotta make a stop. All right. How are we doing today? You know what? Much better. That's what I like to hear. Tell me. You have worked magic. It's what I do. It's you, what I you do. You really have. So pain is lessened. Yes. Meds yes. are agreeing with you. Yeah, I'm doing the roller. So here's what I think we're going to do. I think I'm going to lower the dosage, or okay. maybe even cut you off entirely. OK. And then I want to stick with the foam roller, but I'm going to give you a firmer oh. roller. And remember, the key is you don't want to push too hard, okay. just enough to make it work. Mm -hmm. Are we not here? Yeah, let's go with this bad boy. So, Elizabeth at the front will walk you through it. Same principle as last time. Are you all right? Um. <laughs> all right. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. So, the first time I was here, you bent over, and I noticed that your underwear was quite frayed. Frayed? Frayed. Frayed yes. how? Stringy. And you had holes in it as well. And I'm coming to the conclusion that the reason that I don't see patients in your office... Is because of the nature of my underwear. Yes. I think they've stopped coming because they see your underwear and know that something's amiss. And they stay away. You're losing a lot of business. Because look what it says about you. Slovenly, unkempt, can't take care of himself. Who wants to see a doctor like that? Nobody. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see that doctor. Your underwear, it's threadbare beyond all normal usage. You got to have some underwear awareness. What the hell do I do? Here's a good rule of thumb. Once the cotton detaches from the elastic, they got to go. And are your balls dangling? They are. Once your balls are dangling, it's over. So what should I do with these? The ones that I have, use them for emergency use only? These aren't even for emergencies. You throw them out. A heroin addict doesn't keep the needles. So what do I do about this situation? How about this? Yeah. Suppose you write an email to all your patients. Hold that thought. Talk to me. OK. It is vitally important to me that my patients be able to trust their doctor. It has recently come to my attention that my underwear is quite frayed. Oh, they're filming some movie. Sorry I can't get you closer to your stage. They're making me park a little further away today. Oh. Well, that's OK. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. You going to want me to wait for you? No, a friend of mine is going to take me where I need to go later. All righty. OK, ready to rehearse. OK, Seth, you're sailing on your ship, and you're meeting Jormungandr. Does this hat look stupid, man? I just feel like this was a mistake. So much gack. Why did they wear all this shit back then? What a cumbersome fucking time. OK, ready. The helmet looks great. And you said you were going to try the accent again. I'm going to uh. try the accent. I might just ADR the whole movie in post. Where am I looking? Is this top tennis ball? What is that? The top tennis ball is his third eye. Fucking shit. OK. Can't look down, ever. OK, ready to rehearse and action. I am Bjorn, son of Bjorn, and we make fish. That is what my family does. I am the greatest fisherman in the whole sea. Hey. Wow. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's a, it's car company protocol. I'm not, they, they don't want me to carry my bags. Oh, yeah? They, they said it's sexist. I had a whole conversation with them. Sure you did. The company wants her to do that. It's not it's not me. Can't disobey the car company. I want to. I carried the last time. OK, sure, Larry. Yeah. No, how, how you doing? You OK? Yeah. You, look, you, you, you want help? No. You need some help? No. 